Good morning, guys. This is Travis at Rob Family Farm again. Uh, this is my first day of my winter vacation that I take every year between Christmas and New Year's. I just take the week off. Uh, it's really slow at work usually anyway, so I'm trying to get a few things done. And as you can see, it's a dreary day. It's mist and rain. Um, I was going to split some wood today, get that done, because I know it's supposed to rain the rest of the week. But that's not going to happen. Uh, if it clears up a little this evening, I might um, uh, get some wood split. Uh, the plan is today, right now, I really don't have no plans this week. I just got some stuff I need to do. Whatever I feel like doing at the time is what I'm going to do. So this morning I started I started putting these. Um, one of my kids got me this light bar. It's got the the 12 inch light bar and then the two pods, one there and one there. Um, got me that kit to put on my tractor. So this morning I've started drilling some holes up here. The light bars have a bolt that comes out of it. I don't know if you can see it right there. I'm actually standing on top of the tractor right now. See that bolt right there? There's one on the left right here and there's one over there. Um, so that bolt comes out of the bracket and so what I'm going to do is stick that through the bottom of the bar there. Then it has a nut, so I'm going to drill this hole out so that my socket and nut will go down through there. And I can tighten it up to this. And yes, it may weaken my roll bar a little bit. Um, I'm hoping not too much. This is the only way. I don't have a welder yet. I haven't invested in one yet. And it was the only way I could think of doing it. And I'm way up here, so got a chicken must have just laid an egg I'm way up here so my tripod can't hold it so what i'm gonna do is i'll video a little bit and then make some progress and i'll video and show y'all what i did right now i'm gonna take this hole and i'm gonna drill it out with this uh, half inch bit and then i'm gonna i got a step up bit that'll step it up just a little bit bigger to get my socket down in there to tighten everything up guys got that one on i'm not sure about the angle i'll have to wait till at night and see how it shines and if anything i can rotate these brackets i think forward forward to where the the adjustment down will be like there and i can adjust it down some more if i need to but there's the bolts through the roll bar this thing don't sit out in the rain, so I ain't worried about it filling it with water or anything. So I got the top ones on. Now let's see where we're going to mount the pods, which I'm going to put to go backwards so I can see what's behind me whenever I'm backing up or using anything behind me, dragging something at night, whatever. So we will see where we're going to mount those. All right. There's the 12 inch, and then I mounted one pod facing backwards right here, the other one on the other fender right there. So I'll have some light in the back, and this will have my light in the front. And then I plan on mounting some on the front. I just hadn't figured out if I want to mount them like under the hood there, where they're kind of behind the grill here. Um, on the hood, and the bars right here, where they're kind of facing down. I just don't know yet, because I guess it's kind of, with the bucket and everything, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see depending on where you're moving it, where you're using it. So, as of right now, I'm thinking about mounting them right here, like I said, in the grill. Just putting a hole right there in the hood. But we'll see. I ain't even got them yet, but I will get them eventually. So, uh, here's the wiring harness it came with. It comes with all these connectors. You just put these each of the pigtails that come off of the lights here each one of them they don't have a connector on them yet so i think it's going to work out perfect because this wire uh, 
has an end right there. And then it comes up and it's attached to this one together. And then the other long doesn't have one with it. So I'm thinking this short little stubby branch off right here, I could put to that and then run the long one up the post to that and then that'll be perfect. So, and it comes with it, a switch already wired on. We'll see how that works out where it's gotta lay. It's got a little fuse here and then battery connectors and then a little relay. So, uh, I'm gonna try to get all this laid out and then I'll pick y'all back up. All right, guys, we're all done. I've got the wires run. Got that one run down on the inside of the post there. It connects to this one right there. And that one runs on the inside. And I've got them all tucked in. Got the switch right here. I've got the relay mounted right here. The fusible link is right there. And I've got them run to the battery. And they work. All right, guys, it's dark. So we can see exactly how these lights are. And that's them. Plenty bright enough. In the back. Lights on. Which it ain't that dark because we got the street light right there. But shine some light on the subject. It's a whole lot lighter. Shouldn't have a problem at all dragging the pasture at night or moving the hay bale, which we'll be doing tomorrow. So very pleased with the lights. But I'm gonna, uh, I'll end this video today. Um, if I don't have any more to add to it, I'll just po post this one up. Um, thank y'all for watching today. I uh, appreciate everybody. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and I hope you have a wonderful New Year. Uh, continue to watch, like, and subscribe. Go follow us on Facebook. Thank y'all.